All right, we're starting three six today. I'd love you to be able to use this fundamental theorem of algebra and its corollary to write a polynomial equation of least degree with the given roots. They're going to give you the roots. You got to foil stuff out and figure out the original polynomial. Uh, identify all the roots of the polynomial equation. They're going to give it to you, and you're going to have to break it down and figure out all the roots. So much fun. So this is kind of all the same stuff. And I know my face is in here in the way. This is on the next slide. You can read it, but it's stuff you already know, and it's just six different ways to tell you exactly what you know. Basic idea is this. Uh, if something divides evenly and does not have a remainder, then it's a factor. So we're going to need to know that for when we do this. But we're going to start off with this. Write the simplest polynomial function with the zeros negative 3, 1 half, and 1. Now remember, if negative 3 is a 0, that means if it was factored, one of the factors would say x plus 3. Same thing here. It says the x is 1 half or the 0 is 1 half. So that means that would be written as x minus 1 half. And one of the zeros is 1, so that would be x minus 1. We just need to multiply all three of these together, and then we're done. Now we can multiply them in any order. I would suggest maybe like leave the x minus 1 half until later. So I'm going to do like the x plus 3 times the x minus 1 first, and then I'll bring in the x minus 1 half. But they'll all work. But this part's easy to foil. We'd have x squared minus 1x inside 3 times x is 3x, and last 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 which if I simplify these x's then, negative 1x plus 3x is 2x. So we have x squared plus 2x minus 3. We're going to multiply that by this x minus 1 half. So first, if we multiply them all by x, it's just going to bump another x on everything. So instead of x squared, it would be x to the third. It would be 2x squared and it would be minus 3x. There it is with the x. Now we're going to multiply them all by negative 1 half. Negative 1 half times x squared is negative 1 half x squared. Negative 1 half times positive 2x. Half of 2 is 1, so negative 1 half times 2 would be negative 1x. And then negative times negative is positive. If you're doing 1 half times 3, that would be 3 halves. So plus 3 halves. So if we clean this up, we bring down our x to the third power. 2x minus a half an x would be 1 and a half x's. But we're going to write that as an improper fraction. So 1 and a half as an improper fraction would be 3 over 2 x squared. Negative 3x minus 1x is negative 4x. Now we have the plus 3 over 2. So as far as function, I think it said maybe put it as, oh, we could write it however, but let's turn it into function notation. Let's say p of x equals this stuff. That's it. So we're going to try two more on the next slide. 